So today we're going to have a quick look at Jackbeat. It's a simple little program for creating uh, musical loops uh, in Linux. Uh, it does require you to have uh, the JackD running. Uh, and JackD is a good thing to have running most of the time uh, when you're doing music editing. What JackD does, it's a uh, program that lets all your music programs interact with each other. It's kind of like a, um, a, uh, a switchboard for your audio. You can hook uh, the output from one audio program into the input of another. Uh, not all music programs in Linux require it, um, but uh, most of them will use it. Uh, if it's available, and uh, but Jackbeat does require it. Uh, Jackd is in your repositories. If you don't already have it installed, just do a search for Jackd. If uh, also do a search for uh, QJack Control, or just do a search for QJack, and that will bring up your this little connection uh, control window here, which is very useful. It's the GUI interface for the Jackd. Uh, I've also found in the newest versions of uh, Ubuntu, and currently I'm using uh, Linux Mint, which is based on Ubuntu, there's an issue with it. You click start and it gives you an error that it can't connect to uh, JackD. Uh, so you're going to have to start JackD uh, manually. And uh, one way to do this is either in your terminal or in your run box, run this command, JackD-D, -D, and then your sound background sound system, which I use also. Um, you may come into some issues if you're running Pulse Audio, but give that a try. Uh, if you have issues, uh, post comments, and uh, I'll try to help you because I had some issues too, but I got it working now. Uh, so we got that running. I click start, start it up, and now I'm going to start Jackbeat. And as you can see, it's a simple looking program. Starts you off with four tracks. It says three, but that's because it starts counting at zero, obviously. And uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to choose some wave files I've created of different instruments. I'm going to go into drums. I'm going to add a symbol here. So now I just start drawing where I want my symbols to play. Uh, also, by default, Jack uh, D starts you off at 100 beats per minute. Obviously, whatever beats per minute you're going to do your song that you want to set that to, most audio applications start you off at 120. So that's why I like to work with when I'm just fooling around. Um, so I set that to 120, but once again, set to whatever beats per minute you want, and press play. We got a little beat going there with our symbols. Now we can add something else. We'll add a, a snare that I got recorded. We'll add in uh, another symbol here. Now we're going to start adding some uh, other instruments. Uh, my wife plays trombone. I recorded her playing a few different notes, so we're adding the C note here. Now you notice we're out of tracks. So we just click up here. We'll add a new track, and we'll add in a G note. Also adjust the volume of each instrument over here, and uh, you can also control the pitch of the instruments over here. Also, would like to show you uh, if we open up another session of Jackbeat set to the same beats per minute. I'll do 120. I'll add in an instrument over here. Uh, let's see what we got. That looks like I got a piano. So we'll start doing a little beat over here. You'll see that you notice that when I press play in one or rewind on one, it actually affects both of them. And that's the Jack D doing that. So you can have multiple sessions of Jack Beat open and, uh, and you can control them. I'm going to lower the volume on this one a little bit. See how this sounds. And you'll see when I press play up here, 
it also played down here. That's a very nice feature. Um, also, you can save, when you save your project, uh, it saves it as a JAB file, and basically it's, it's a compressed file, and it's actually going to save your uh, WAV files into it, so all your instruments are going to be compressed into this file, so you don't have to worry about losing or linking those original uh, WAV tracks you imported. I do think Jackbeat only works with WAV files, so if you have AUG or MP3, you'll have to convert them. Uh, and then when you have the loop you want, uh, you can also uh, increase your loop, like if you want it longer, you can change the measure or the beats up here, or you can always just double what you've already created, and you see it doubled the notes you've already put in, so then you can add other notes. So that's Jackbeat, when you're done you can export your wave, uh, and you can also mute different tracks if you want. And then once you're done, you can export that wave, as I said, and import it into another application such as Ardor, which I'll do a tutorial on soon, uh, which is a great track editor. Uh, and if you're an action musician, you're going to play actual instruments rather than uh, doing little beat machines like this or incorporation with these beat machines. Uh, Ardor is the program you want to use to record your, your tracks. And that's a tutorial that's coming up. This was Jack Beat, available in your repositories and Jack D, which is also in your repositories. Uh, filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this on audio and visual media. Anything open source, Linux, media, I hope to help teach you how to use at filmsbychris.com. That's filmsbychris, Chris with a K, I should say that. Uh, the link is in the description.